The Volumes of Truth, Volume 7, The Last Trumpet Before the Time, October 21, 2010, From the Lord, Our God and Savior, The Word of the Lord Spoken to Timothy, For All Those Who Have Ears to Hear. Behold, what an obscene thing this is before my eyes! What a horrible sound has entered my ears! What a detestable sight is on display amongst this people who are not my people! What an awful spewing is brought forth from this modern generation! My name is blasphemed because of them! In all the world, my name is despised and used as a cursing. It is treated like an abomination which offends, a thing to be cast off and forgotten, a name which shall not be mentioned. Behold, even these among the churches of men have endeavored to make the Holy One of Israel in their own image, molding him by deceitful hands to their own hurt. A molded idol, a graven image, which they have given a name to hide their guilt. Desecration! Even the very name for which they are called. Lawlessness! For they excuse sin in the name of the Holy One, and forsake my commandments and my every decree in the name of the Messiah, the Righteous One. They are a polluted people, rejected, until the time be changed. And according to that which their own hearts reveal, shall I deal with them. For they testify against themselves, says the Lord. For they have not known me, neither do I see of myself in them. Yes, by their hearts and by their doings, they do always testify against themselves. For in their hearts they say, Look upon us, see how we have become righteous in our own eyes. Even by all they say and do, they declare, We have forsaken the law of the Father in the name of the Son. Yes, He has made it possible for us to do so. And by His permission do we forsake His every statute and ignore His every decree, that we may pollute the name of the living God without ceasing. Foolish children, diseased, an awful generation, you are all captives. None of you are set free. Lo, you have signed the document of your own sentences, which shall be severe. Behold, you remain on the side of your own judgment, nodding your heads in agreement. Therefore, according to the number of your churches shall be your judgment, and according to the number of your adulteries shall be your punishment, O house of harlots, O daughters of fornication, and according to the words of your own mouths shall be the severity, and according to this word which you have rejected shall be the length of your refinement. Behold, I shall not spare the rod, nor shall the strength of my arm be held back in my discipline. 